Hi parents, I went to a conference last week and I thought I'd share some top line um, findings from that conference uh, and how it relates to our nursery and hopefully you can see how it relates to your particular child. So there's been some research done by Ofsted and they published uh, the second part of their uh, research results. So this uh, conference was about uh, the results of that research that Ofsted have done. And the key messages uh, that uh, came out from the research, which uh, by and large we actually do follow, so that's really good for us, uh, is that um, the curriculum should cover all the children, so we don't exclude anyone. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, we should have curriculum that covers uh, all the ages, all the stages of their development. Uh, Adults should consider what the children already know uh, and what they can do and have activities that then stretches them. So we do that already. Uh, children with uh, gaps in their knowledge, gaps in their learning, uh, they should get extra help, especially if you are a child with uh, special educational needs uh, or you are just uh, mainstream but you know there is a particular skill you haven't picked up, you should cover that. And we should consider the child's interests and their uh, uh, likes and dislikes. We do that already. The important one was children's play is value, uh, valued. And that is something that we don't particularly do well, to be very honest with you. Um, so uh, my focus is to have um, uh, the play as a very integral part of uh, the teacher's teaching. And, um, you know, I, I want them to play with the children more. And there's a few things that I'm doing just to make sure that happens. So that is something that we need to improve on. And it's really important that uh, teachers actually, you know, instill knowledge. And I think we do that. It can be polished a bit more, I think. So that's, a good, that's something we feel I'm looking at. Uh, the main findings are in the three primary areas of learning. This is the cornerstone. This is like, if you like, the bedrock of learning for all children. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on uh, in, in terms of the feedback things. Um, so the main, uh, one of the main findings uh, was that the prime areas are critical and they're interlinked with each other and interlinked with a specific area. Our activities do that already. Uh, we absolutely focus on the prime areas. Uh, even when parents say, you know, why can't my child write? As a specific area of uh, uh, literacy, uh, uh, well, no, you know, we will actually be doing uh, focusing on the prime areas first, and then building on those prime areas, the specific areas. Um, in the prime areas, communication and language, uh, one of the prime areas, is fundamental to every aspect of a young child's thinking and their learning. So, you know, if they can communicate, they understand, they can communicate, then their learning is much better. So this is really critical for us. We do that. Uh, personal, social, emotional development, a second prime area, underpins the children's early learning and emotional well-being. So the emotional well-being, we really are very, very hot on making sure that our environment is such that the children, you know, feel valued. They feel as if they're loved and cared for. Uh, and from that, uh, we build their uh, emotional resilience and their well-being. And the third primary area, physical development, is central to the child's uh, health and fitness. Now, we know that. And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you will know that uh, we do a huge range of physical activities. Our outdoors is deliberately designed to be very physical. Uh, so when they're learning, they can actually incorporate that. So that is really, really good. Um, the other um, finding was that, you know, a child's language depends on the, you know, the, the, the grasp of the vocabulary. Depends on the quality and the quantity of the interaction with their adults. So we need to focus a little bit more on that. I think we do it, but we need a bit more but for parents. You know, it's so, so critical, so, so critical that you're talking with your child, that you are reading storybooks with your child, that you are communicating in that way with your child and take every opportunity you're with them to do that. If you're shopping, you can do those plenty of opportunities when they're shopping. 
uh, if you're in the park, and even if you're at home doing things. So try and use words, extend their vocabulary. This is so, so critical. Uh, some, uh, and then the more the children understand the words, uh, the better, and then the better the quality of the interaction, the, be the more secure they will be in their communication as they go forward. So that is really, really good. And conversely, if you don't, then your child will struggle, you know, when they're at uh, reception and junior school. So, you know, so, so critical. Uh, you know, shared reading, you know, uh, when you're at home. Uh, this is a very easy way. And if you haven't got our four books, then please let me know. It's £12 if you're on eBay and Amazon, but free to you. And remember to have our word list books as well. Because our word list books, you can create different story with the same book every time. Fantastic. And it can be done in any language. So that's really, really great. Uh, the main focus for us in terms of the communication as a primary area is that we deliberately plan the activities uh, based on you know, uh, what uh, gap we're trying to fill, what knowledge we're trying to instill, and what the children's interests are. You know, it's not just done randomly, right? We do that already, but our focus is that we always understand what the intent is of our activities. So we are really, really, uh, 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 really focusing on that. You know, we don't underestimate the importance of the social and emotional well-being of the child. So, you know, it may seem that the activity uh, is a bit lightweight, but as long as there's a really heavyweight element of social well-being, emotional well-being, then for us, that's that's what we were trying to aim. We're obviously embedding uh, and extending vocabulary. So each activity that we have, we have a list of core words that goes with it. And our teachers use those core words. They can use others as well. But there's at least a good you know, 12, uh, 12, 24 odd core words, which are which extends the child's vocabulary. And, you know, we practice that activity maybe, you know, frequently. The more repetition we have of that activity, the more that knowledge embeds into the long-term memory of the child, the more the child understands the concepts that we're trying to instill, and the more confident they get. So this is really critical. Um, in terms of uh, physical, uh, uh, you know, gross motor skills is the core. Remember, the child's development starts from the top, works away down. So when you're a baby, you won't be walking or crawling. You'll be first uh, making uh, your first development at the gross motor level is that you're, you know, you're able to hold your head up. Yep. Then you're able to sort of develop your shoulders, muscles, uh, uh, and then you're able to crawl. Then you're able to walk. Uh, and in terms of fine motor skills, once the gross motor skills have been developed, then we focus on the fine. So, you know, and parents say, oh, my child can't write. Yeah, because the gross motor skills of the shoulders, the upper arm, the lower arm haven't been developed yet to a level where they can start using their fingers efficiently. So focus on the gross motor first, then the fight, uh, fine motor skills. So again, <clears throat> the key message for a physical development perspective is that we understand that children take small steps and they build on what they already know in terms of their physical uh, abilities, and we do that. Uh, we include uh, explicit modelling and teaching of fundamental movement skills. So you've got action and as an as, a, as an example, yoga, second example. We have a sports activity, third example. And even when our pet, teachers are playing with their children, they, they, they're, they're educating the children, they understand that, uh, you know, they'll be modelling what the teachers do. Uh, and we provide activities that deepen the child's capabilities. Never under, underestimate what they're capable of. They're capable of far more than what we give them credit for, really. So parents, please, never underestimate a child. We can always start extending them. And give the child the time and the practice, the space and the practice they need. So, you know, as a parent, you know, go to parks on a Saturday or a Sunday. Just make it as a regular activity. Give them that space. Give them college time where they can actually explore that outdoors. In terms of um, 
PSED, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, emotions, emotional well-being, we really, really focus on that. Uh, the self-care, you know, especially as the children are starting to get us uh, uh, preparing for reception school. But even younger children, you know, we in include self-care, we include eating habits, healthy eating habits, healthy choices when they're choosing their meals. Because remember here, in the area we have buffet style uh, serving, so they're able to select their own meals in the, right, in the quantity they want. Uh, but our teachers are there to sort of help them make uh, the correct choice. Yep. So again, from a PSCD uh, perspective, the key message is that we want to, we need to provide and develop warm, positive relationship and interactions. Uh, and being a home-based nursery, it's an absolute ideal environment to do that. The, the atmosphere, the setup is such that it really does lend itself to that. So we're very blessed with that and we really do make adv uh, take advantage of that. Uh, and you know, we need to ensure that the child uh, has a positive sense of themselves, you know. Uh, so we need to sort of boost their confidence, boost their... Um, uh, 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 boost them in a way that they can actually try new things knowing that even if they fail no one's going to criticize them and we're going to give them the opportunity to stretch that's really good uh, helping children understanding their emotions that's really critical so that if they are not happy with anything or they're sad they're able to communicate uh, learn, helping children to grow with each other because as they go into um, uh, reception and junior school this is a really critical skill that they they will need to sort of get on with other children and in terms of eating to provide opportunities for them to explore and prepare and eat healthy food uh, we are very blessed that we have a um, chef as you all know and the chef actually uh, you know I, I sit down with the chef and we, we, we create the menus and uh, we, we're very proud of the sort of range of food that they actually have. So that was just a very short summary on the uh, findings of the research that's recently been done. And just focusing on the uh, three primary areas. Uh, overall, I felt we are, you know, doing a large proportion of what the research says uh, that we should be doing. There are one or two areas that I think uh, we just need to polish up a little bit, uh, just up our game a little bit. Uh, and so we are really, really focused on that. And in particular, the element of play. Now, we're pretty weak on that on our side, teachers playing with children. Uh, so really focus on that. So I hope you found that useful uh, as a, a, a sharing my uh, observations and my learnings from this particular conference. There was a huge amount more to it um, and obviously I'm going to go through with my team and pick up each of those points as uh, uh, as action points. Um, if you have any questions then please feel free to call me and we can certainly uh, uh, arrange a, a session where we can, I can talk to you in more detail. In the meantime I think the key message is stay positive and uh, really you know start engaging with your children in a very quality way you know in a very quality way give them time quality time use every op learning opportunity you can and play with them that's so critical anyway parents thank you and you have a good day